For the record, I'll do some just like this. So. <laughs> um, I'm talking about bass. Bass are one of the passions that I have. There's a lot of misconceptions about them. People are really afraid of them. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it because I think it's kind of a travesty to raise a nation of children that are afraid of bats. Um, we're talking about hybridism. We're combining species together. So in this case, if you're talking about vampires, we're combining bats with uh, <laughs> flat being failure of all people. Um, hybridism is something that occurs very frequently. Not that I'm against bats, or I mean vampires. Um, anthropomorphism, what we're doing is we're actually projecting human qualities onto these creatures, such as murderous intent, which is something that they just don't have, actually. Um, the biggest reason is fear. People are afraid of them. Um, I don't understand this at all, but um, this particular guy was kicked out of his house and he was thrown onto the ground. He was a little upset. I don't really blame him. Um, another thing is speciesism. People just genuinely hate them. Um, I again, don't really understand why. I think that they're absolutely adorable people. <laughs> um, and now there's a lack of knowledge, and that's part of the reason why I'm here today. One of the things that you can do that you can take away from this is to educate other people. If you're a teacher, teach your students, tell your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, whatever about them, because they're really not dangerous. Um, these are actually vampire bats, believe it or not. Vampire bats are native to South America. You won't see them here. But they have a lot of qualities that are very much like people. They um, are very family-oriented. They're known to take in orphans which is almost unheard of with wild animals. They tend to nest together, they roost together. Um, it's actually, actually very, very sweet. <laughs> I think so. Um, biology, this is an example of, they're actually very similar to human beings in their structure. Their wings are not actually wings that you might think of. They don't flap their arms like birds. What we're looking at is actually their hands. And this is kind of an example. You can see the webbing runs in between their fingers. They actually have five fingers, just like we do. And they go like that. <laughs> wow, that's how they fly. <laughs> um, there's different kinds of bats. Fruit bats we don't generally have here, but people consider them the cuter of the bats. And people tend to like to say cute things, so I thought maybe you'd be interested in seeing them. <laughs> There's also vampire bats. Like I said, they don't live here in Arizona. Um, they're only in South America. And generally, they feed on like cattle. You don't really have to worry about them. So if you're ever in South America, you don't have to be afraid of the vampire bats. Um, insect eating, carnivorous bats is the kind of bats that we generally have in Arizona. There's 28 species of bats that we have here. The Game and Fish Department was nice enough to give me this poster. And a couple of extras, so if you really absolutely must have one, come find me. <laughs> Should be pretty easy to find. <laughs> um, we have uh, pollen and nectar eating bats. They're very important to Arizona. They are primarily responsible for our saguaro cactuses. Without the bats helping them cross pollinate, we wouldn't have them. Guano is bat poop. <laughs> Sorry, it's what it is. They uh, use it for any a number of things. We use it for fertilizer. NASA used to use it to send rockets to the moon. And uh, people use it for face cream. I'm not going to try that one. Um, and then I want to talk about white nose syndrome, which is actually very sad. This is something that is a new disease that's killed over a million bats starting on the East Coast. And I, I heard a rumor I couldn't confirm that we may lose all of our bats in North America within the next five years. Um, it's it's really kind of awful. Um, it's just it's kind of terrible. Um, there's, I don't really have anything to say about this. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> Bat Conservation International. You can hang a bat house like this. Um, they like to roost in them. Don't leave it on the ground because orphans like to. I found out this morning. Um, <laughs> and, uh, if you like some more information, you go to batcon.org, which is for Bat Conservation International. Um, smileybat.com is a website that I have. And that's a smiley bat. If you're wondering what that red thing is, I encourage you to use it instead of a little, you know, smiley face. Thanks. <laughs>